of the tempo of the game, who does it favor? Right now, I kind of think it favors Miami a little bit. But saying that, Kevin, they really haven't got a lot of fast break opportunities because they haven't forced turnovers. Uh, you, we look back at the half, San Antonio had two turnovers, and they had two very early in the ball game. Mm -hmm. So they went about 20 of the 24 minutes without a turnover. So that's got to be great. Popovich has got to feel good that the heat pressure and that the heat physicality has not created turnovers. People know him as Billy Mims, Coach Mims, or just Coach. But I know him as someone else. My dad. The reason why my dad is my inspiration in sports broadcasting is because he was the first person I saw talking sports on live TV. There's no other broadcaster I look up to more. He coached as a professional coach in the BBL for 12 years, but was a studio analyst for the NBA Finals at Sky Sports for almost 20, and now has even expanded to have his own Facebook live TV show. The one thing I always admired my dad for was his confidence on live TV. He makes audiences feel as if they were his friend, just chatting at the bar. He has a clear and loud voice, but always made a point to never do vocal warm-ups. If you're not confident, it shows right away. And the, the, the viewer, the listener, they can tell if you're not confident. So you have to be relaxed, comfortable, confident, and passionate about what you're talking about. It's this passion that I also admire him for. No matter what he's talking about, he is passionate about every single thing. He loves talking sports with people, breaking down concepts, and in general, loves to give his opinion. This confidence on air is what I try to emulate in my own career. Whenever you're broadcasting sport, and sport has been your life, you're in heaven, okay? To talk about sport, is probably the easiest thing for me to do. So being able to get paid to broadcast sports, definitely a job of being in heaven. I also love the way he can tell a good story to anyone. Storytelling is a huge part of the industry today and what makes broadcasters special. He can make anything interesting and always has a story to add to the conversation. I think storytelling is hugely important as a sports broadcaster, the ability to grab the listener, to grab the viewer, and take them someplace they want to go, but they've never been before. And storytelling brings the event they're watching or the event they're listening to, it brings it to life for them. It gives it more meaning. It's not just what they're seeing, but it's a broadcaster who's maybe got some expert experience that he can add to what they're watching to what they're listening to and make it more real for them. I honestly couldn't think of any other person that I would call my inspiration or even my dad.